Hey everybody, my name is Kitten welcome back from the video of Hitchhiker. We're gonna continue this series. Now, if you missed the last video, go ahead and watch it because you missed a lot. Uh, we started the uh, third chapter out of the five chapters there is in the game, I think. Uh, we're in the middle of it. And uh, that was a fantastic first beginning at, the, at it as well. Body doubles, everything. And uh, right now, uh, this girl right here, which her original name is Leah, she actually is Kreia or something like that right now. I don't know. She's like our, our uh, ex-wife or something, whatever. And uh, she's actually communicating with us. She just told us that we literally killed her or something. Uh, very strange. We'll see what happens next. Yes, the one I was texting when we were eating lunch. The man with many eyes. Many eyes, do you say? Yes. He has ten eyes, like this. What, like the human fly or something? wears them around his wrist like a bracelet interesting even while he sleeps a few of them keep watch their eyes open he also wears an orange vest orange vest I saw him in the back seat wait did I was that the guy in the back seat okay all right find the man with many eyes and his friend the man with mirror eyes they're the ones who did this to me. Okay, so I, I didn't do anything. Okay, okay, okay. How did I find him? Close your eyes. Close my eyes? Yo, do I really need to do this? Alright, whatever. I don't hey, like this, boys. Where'd you go? It's like you went somewhere else there. Having some irresistible dream. Nah, I said no to the dream. Good for you. Reality is always the best policy. Speaking of reality, the check has arrived. We need to get that uh, to that gas station right away. No, I'm not going anywhere. Let's pay up and hit the road. Yeah, let's just hit the road. Works for me. What's the sudden rush? Think my girlfriend has been held hostage? Oh, well, we're definitely going after my girlfriend Are then. Sure? We're definitely... If you're lucky, All right, my character is going up against me station. now, boys. All right. How do you figure? Are the cards said? Yeah, what about the card? Well, the card has Thursday 4 p.m. written on it, right? That was two days ago. Two days ago, I exactly. I you that today is... Your day off. Yeah. If we leave now, we can beat her there by nearly an hour and find out who's waiting for her. I wonder how we'll find him. What will we do once she arrives? Exactly. Like, well, that's what do you expect me to I do? I made up to look like her. He'll give himself away as soon as we arrive. I have a few wigs in the car. Interesting plan. Sounds the, yeah, sounds the uh the well, the say. What the, the fuck does that even mean? Waited in the car with my phone. Type of English it's word is that? The moment anything looks funny, and like I told you, I'm an expert shapeshifter. Yeah, you are. You definitely uh fooled me out right there. It's time to hit the road. Time to pay the check so we can get out of here. All right, let's uh let's just open the bill. Presenter, wait, there's a photo in there. A new photo, boys. What is this? A picture of like a phone? The hell? That's next level right there. This Wait, there's a robots there's chill. a number. It says that sixty percent of the workforce won't have a job in twenty years. Hmm. Hey, can you put down your phone for three seconds? I'm trying to have a real human connection with you, and you're so tuned out. It's like I'm eating with a robot. I'm sorry. I know. We need to get gas in a sec. You can tell I can't me see the last number, on. boys. Could you put that thing away? Hey, There's one it. number remaining. On, let go. Who is that? Who are you writing to? God, keep your voice down. Look, I've been driving for ages. I just need to space out a little. A little? It's like you're a million miles away. Can you just give me a break, please? Yeah, why am I be so touchy right now? Why am I being an asshole for? Now we're back together, but I feel this is the last place in the world you want to be. Well, that's what I'd call a self-fulfilling prophecy. Ain't love grand. The hell was that all about? Come on, let's Why the here. fuck was I pushing on her like that? I'm really an asshole, aren't I? What the hell? She's just on her phone doing work, and I'm just out there, like, literally talking to her like she's. What the fuck was that? Anyways, yo, you got you got a nice car, my girl. I'm not gonna lie. How do I look? Hey, you look nice. 
Just like her, as far as I can recall. I'm not sh I'm not so sure about this plan, though. Don't worry. It'll work. I'm good at this. I'm a very apt pupil. A very apt pupil. Here, take You're my phone. Oh, okay, she's Call glitching out. Oh, no, she... this is not good, boys. Wait, a phone? All right, so scenic break. What about this business card inspect? Okay, so this is the business card and everything. So we're going to Argus's gas uh, gas station. We'll see what happens there. We know that she went there. That's very strange, though. I have a question. Uh, you told me that she and I had a fight. Right. And that I stormed out and left the restaurant. I did, yes. But in my memory, it didn't exactly. Uh, yeah, it didn't happen like that. I didn't storm out, she did. And I'm the one who was the, the asshole. I don't know what's going on here, Leah. You're, you're, um, you're hiding something right, from me. It was her. Yes, she left the restaurant first, not me. Yes, and? Why did you lie to me about that one? Yeah, exactly. Why did you lie to me? Listen, there's something at the end of this road that you don't want to find. But I do want to find it. People keep telling me this shit, man. Why do I just do my own decision? If you the hell? only wanted to find it, there wouldn't be all this conflict. What conflict? Drivers lying to you, drugging you with raisins, <laughs> all the little glitches, things that don't make sense. Besides, yeah, you're right about that one. It's hardly been a smooth ride, has it? Not really. Hey, I'm all for it. You make it sound like it's my fault or something. I'm just saying. There are two sides to every story, right? The argument back at the diner. Maybe there was something missing for her. Something missing between the two of you. Really? Really? Isn't that grand? Alright, so what do you think was missing? That's already the point, is it? She's been kidnapped. Fine. We can continue barreling along the highway if that's what your photos tell you. The photos are the only things I can trust right now. So what did you learn back there from your photo? She was having an affair with the phone guy. Well, I wouldn't say that exactly. She could he could be a a worker uh, that works with her or something. We're we're really quick to jump to conclusions for some reason, boys. Like we oh. clearly were the asshole in the first place. I don't know why we're so obsessed with that girl in the first place. Yeah, that's that much seem that that much seems clear. I saw the phone number. Oh, you have my phone. Why don't you call it then? I can't see all the numbers. Yeah, there's two numbers remaining. Hmm. And you think he's also this man with all the eyes? Many men. Uh, okay, I guess. Hey, Maybe he could. I only have right? this option, boys. Right now, it's they're not giving me a lot of options to say. Uh, so, uh, that's right. He wears the, them around the wrist. Yes, yeah, so. What's your point? Have another look at that card. Ten little eyes. See him? Business card. Uh, it's wild. It's a wild ride. No, I don't see it. Freaky, I don't right? see what you're talking about. You're sharp. I, I know that. I know this. That back at the diner. I guess. I, the, the options they're well, giving me right now, they're not out. really good, boys. I don't know she, what she's talking about yet. The Time character knows. Character. There's something I'm missing myself. You sure, sure you're right. up to this? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I can't see a thing. What gives? It's on purpose, my girl. Turn around, we need to get out of here. You know what? I'm not even gonna say a thing. We're just gonna get out of there. Or I'll, I'll let her drive there, whatever. I'm not even gonna say, uh, tell her to turn around. Nope, I'm not telling her to drive. Okay, I guess I, I have to I tell can't. her. The car is jammed somehow. The car is jammed. Let's just go there then. Alright, who's this? Wait, that's it? What? That's it. That's the third chapter. Wait, what happened to Leia then? Why are we going to be another dude? Oh, I don't like this, boys. I was starting to like Leia quite a lot. Oh, no. What happened to her, boys? I'm in tr I'm Now I'm scared. What the fuck? Let's jump into the fourth ride. Oh, my God. What? What happened? I'm in the trunk. I'm in the trunk, boys. What the hell? Help. So this is the number we're going to call. Holy shit. 
Let's call the number. Alright, I guess it's the only number we got, right? We're getting kidnapped, boys. I don't know what happened to Leia. I hope she's fine. Yellow. Vern? Copernicus. Is that you? What the fuck? That's your number? What? Let me guess. You've gotten yourself into some kind of jam. So I'm more than a jam. Over a tiger cage? No, actually, I've been kidnapped. Kidnapped? <laughs> that doesn't sound like part of your dream. Then again, you do have a way of making enemies. Who'd you piss off this time? What? Well, I don't know. The man with many eyes, maybe. Yeah, I guess. I sincerely doubt that. The fact that I'm hearing your voice now suggests otherwise. He's got her, though. I need to rescue her. Why is he out there? Why is he out to get me anyway? What? What did I do? Well, don't say I didn't warn you. You've sworn to deceive me, Vern. I'm going to feed the birds now. I want to know the truth. Look where that got you. Okay, you've. Uh, I guess you made your point. I guess I was uh, being an asshole to you as well. You know, that's just how I am in games. You know, just come and help me. All right, we can be buddies. I can eat your raisins. You can drug me all you want. All right. Just help me out here. Speaking of which, did you find the box, Copernicus? What box? The lock one? Yes, in the mailbox. What's so important? Yeah, what's so important about it? I don't think it's gonna help me. Figure out a way to open that box, Copernicus. Oh my god. Inside, you'll find out who you really are. I don't wanna know who I am. I wanna get. I wanna be freed right now. Don't mess with him, kid. He's the final gatekeeper. Way too strong. You need to learn the spell first, before you can go up against him. Why am I, what do I look to you, like a magician or something? The hell a spell. Hey, if I knew it, I'd tell you. But let's start by getting you out of that box. Lucky for you, I've got my farmer's almanac here. Let's have a look. Hang on. While you're looking see, at this, see, man, come on cabbage, now. caraway, carrot, car trunk. First thing you should do is reach around for the latch. Reach around Sounds for the latch. So you're not gonna help me. You're gonna tell me how to get out of here. There's no latch here, okay, man. Next step. See if you can scare up the brake lights. Can you find them? It's a little gizmo with some wires. Got him. Okay. Yank on the wires and try to pull the lights into the trunk with you. All right, pull it up, Got boys. It. What color are the lights? Uh, red. We need a green light, kid. A steady green light. That's the way forward. Oh my god. Everybody wants Good the green, you, green light. Wait. Wait, what? Hold on a minute. Where did you go? Surely you don't have enough uh, a more important business than this, Vern. Come on now. Uh, this one needs to be this. There we go. And now I need colors, so I need this. Oh, it can't be a minus, okay. So you gotta be there. There we go. You gotta be there. And you gotta be here. There we go, it worked. I got it, boys. I'm now a mechanician or something, boys. I work on cars. I'm out of the trunk. And with the driver himself. Uh, hello, how did I wind up in your trunk, my guy? Oh God! You know I'm not even gonna say a thing, boys. I'm not even gonna say a thing right here. English, Asif. All right, well that's great. Wait a second. Yo, I don't want to say a thing. The fact you speak Arabic and you kidnap me doesn't bode too well for you, buddy. I'm just gonna say. Okay, I can't understand you. Stop talking. I can't even understand you. What the hell, man? I don't speak Arabic. Okay. Translate driver's speech. You gotta be kidding me. Translate the driver's speech. How am I gonna do that? Alright, so the, the lockbox. Somehow we gotta open it. There's the phone right here. Uh, I don't know how to translate the... To translate it. Open the window. 
Let's just open the window. So somebody want to help me or something? Let's get the fuck out of the car. Radio. Turn on the radio. That's gonna... Oh, okay, okay. I got it here. Alright, so we're gonna turn the knob. I got it. 92.8, boys. That's the, that's the station right there. Alright, so you speak English now. How did I get here? How would I know? It's not even my car. What do you mean it's not your car? No idea. I find myself behind the wheel here night after night. And the trunk, that's my thing too. You don't want to know how many hours I've spent in there trying to shift my legs to keep them from falling asleep. I know you're the next guard, so if you didn't kidnap me, how did I get here exactly, my guy? Why should I know? What makes you think you can turn up out of thin air and interrogate me? Who are you anyway? I'm the guy who is on your trunk. And you need to answer my questions. Otherwise, you're in trouble. You know, it doesn't look bad for you. It doesn't look good for you at all right now. You tell me who you are first, buddy. Are you gonna tell me? What's your name? I'm... I'm not sure, actually. But here... It's fine. On this highway, everybody calls me al Shatir. Why is this even funny? Never heard of Ibn al Shatir? A famous astronomer. I guess you don't learn about him in your schools. One of the forefathers of astronomy. In many ways, a predecessor to... Copernicus? Yes. That's right. Oh, I see where this is leading us then. Funny, that's my name. Copernicus al Shatir. Two iconoclasts from different lands who challenge the belief that the sun revolves around the earth. Two dreamers who had the conviction that their unique consciousness is not the only thing in the center of the universe. Maybe you're not just part of my story. Like I'm not part of yours. You were trapped in the trunk where I've been many times. It's like you've wandered into my dream and I've wandered into yours. So you're saying we're kind of the same person, huh? I find this hard to wrap around my head. How is that uh, possible exactly? How should I know? Somehow the streams have crossed. Disturbance in space time continue. So you're saying you're the first one? So you've been trapped in here for a while now. He's been trapped in here for a while, boys. And I'm the second guy who's been trapped. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, like like he said, a space-time continuum thing. We're both being together out of thin air. We uh, somehow miraculously found each other in the between the, the time and space. Which is kind of cool. Now, if we can find a, a way to save both of us, that would be great. So, what are you dreaming about? Me? Yes, safety. A place far away from wars. From bombings. From the cockroaches that crawl out as soon as the dust settles. On the news, you hear only about armies and religious madmen. But it's the gangsters that drove me away. They're the ones who did this to me. Did what exactly? They killed you? How did you wind up in this place? What kind of gangsters? The Al Mahdi army. They called themselves an army anyway. They were looking for my brother in law because he worked as a translator for the US military. Neighbors warned us we should move. And so we did. Twice. Twice, huh? Did they find your brother? Luckily, no. He was safe with the army beyond their reach. A few years passed and we forgot about the threat. Life is shouldn't have. Normal. And that's when they came back and picked me up. Two days later, when I woke up in a Baghdad hospital, I found out that they dumped me off there and told the hospital that I'd hurt myself in a work accident. What did they do to you exactly? So what the, was that the moment you decided to leave, huh? Yes. After that, I couldn't stay. Tell me about your escape. You haven't asked me uh, my story. No, I don't care about my story. What about yours? It's way more interesting. The women in my family, my mother, my sisters, they were the only ones who knew. 
Why not the men? I was very close to the women in my family. They were the ones who were around all the times while I was recovering. The men, my father, my brothers, always working, always out of the house. I got on a plane to Istanbul, where my cousin lived. He took me to Izmir, where the smugglers are. They're easy to find. I bought a space on a vessel, headed to Mytilene, Greece, the closest harbor in Europe. What kind of vessel was it? Were you worried about it getting ripped off, my guy? Because it could happen, you know, they get those, those mercenaries, they can get paid off better and all of a sudden they're against you. No, they had a system that you would pay your money to a broker and he'd give you a token. Once you go to the other side, you show the token. Only then does the broker pay the smuggler. We couldn't leave for five days. Too many Greek army ships in the city. Every morning, getting up at 3.30 to make a go of it. <laughs> By the fifth day, I was so tired of waiting that I wasn't even scared to get on board any longer. Finally, impatience had overtaken fear. Then what happened? Hey, want to hear about... No, I don't care about my story. Why does... I want to hear about him and his story is fantastic right now. What the hell? We did it's like a giant uh, Jack Ryan thing right here. A boat pulls up next to us. People are trying to understand what's going on. But the men on the ship only speak Greek. At first, people are worried that it's pirates. They take everything from the passengers. Sometimes take the passengers themselves. Sometimes just ram the boat. And laugh as it sinks. So it is pirates. These are police, it turns out. What? Take us back to Turkey, where I'm waiting. And waiting. And waiting. So you're back to Turkey now. So you of fucked course, up, huh? I did not remember all this in my dreams at first. These were things I remembered. Remembered from clues I found along the highway. Sounds familiar. You haven't asked about... Yeah, that sounds very familiar. I've dreamed this highway. This car before many times why well, you dream on an uh, off on an american highway yeah exactly while you're in a, uh, a, an american highway you could be where you're supposed to be why are you not That's in turkey question. i had an uncle once who left iraq many years ago to study engineering at the university of bowling green i guess this made an impression on me who knows why we dream the things we dream what is your dream about? My dream? Must be uh, relationship troubles, my, my guy. Not as interesting as you, I must say. A breakup? That's it? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Ah, that's more like it. Who has been kidnapped? Who is this person that's been taken away from you? Uh, my girlfriend? Well, I, uh, Do I don't know. Who knows? Maybe I've seen her somewhere along this highway. Have you? There's a photo in my backpack. Maybe, maybe you did see her. You know, at this point, I'm not really intrigued in my girlfriend anymore. I'm intrigued in you. I want to help you out, buddy. You seem like a cool dude. You seem like me in the past. Like, I want to help you, not my, uh, not my girlfriend. I don't care about my girlfriend. You seem like a cool dude. I know her. The same woman, but with different hair color. I just Do saw you? her at the gas station a few miles back. Nah, that's not her. That's just a decoy, my girl. My guy. What? By the way, what happened to that girl? A decoy? What kind of game are you playing here? It was. Sp it was supposed to be a trap. It backfired. You know how it is. I'd say, you're lucky nobody got hurt. I know, but this whole thing was her idea. You know, it's just. You sure? Whatever. Didn't she also warn you that you're the one pulling the strings here? How do you know she said that? Well, that's their motto at Dante's. Customer is always right. They say that to all the patrons there. But listen, did she ask you to let her change forms to assume a different identity? Yes, she did. Uh, she said she could be her, my girlfriend, but I uh, refused. And somehow she still, uh, she still decided to do it. So I don't think I got much choices here, my guy. I said no. That's right. How do I put this? In 
this place, it's important to see things for what they really are. Keep them pinned down. The moment you start shifting things around to suit your needs, well, you're like Pandora, opening the box. So what was she doing at the gas station? There was a scene there at the gas station. She was being questioned by two men. She seemed to be explaining herself, pointing at the empty passenger seat in her car. They didn't really seem interested in her, though. They were more interested in the empty car seat. What did they look like? Uh, did you catch what, uh, that, uh, what they were after? Exactly, that's exactly. my question right now. There was a lot of pointing at the passenger seat in her car and shrugging. It seemed they'd lost something or someone. The leader, he seemed very unhappy. A guy in an orange vest. Oh, that's the guy that we were looking for. So it was all a trap. A trap? So they were looking for you? They were, my guy. I don't, f I don't get how I escaped, though. I don't, know, I don't even know how I made it to do your trunk. Sounds like getting in my dream, getting in the trunk, may have saved your neck. It did. That's crazy. The main guy. Did you happen uh, to uh, to notice if he had a bracelet with circles around his arm? Did you hear anything else? No. Did you ha Did you notice if he had circles around his arm? That's the bar. Uh, that's the main thing. No. I didn't get a look. I just heard one strange thing they said. That they were looking for a guy with eight fingers. They were looking for a guy like that? Find him. Eight fingers? Something like that. Eight fingers. Eight, eight digits, maybe. Eight digits, it's me. Yeah, I have his phone number. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. And you wouldn't happen to have a strange blue box with you? Yeah, I do. Okay, hold on now. Hold on. This is feeling kind of uh, like a trap. Now you're asking a lot of questions. What is this? I don't have anything like that. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't have any box. What's that box all about? Well, if they were chasing you. Say, have you noticed how many tumbleweeds there are suddenly? Well, we are in a desert. I don't know. But the weather also seems to be turning suddenly. Turn yeah, it seems like a storm is coming see up. See if you can find a weather report. Weather report, okay. My God, get that thing off the window. What the get fuck? It get it off. Oh my God, this is the guy right here. Escape the tumble tweeds. The fuck do you mean? Got it, boys. It worked. Managed to get it. It was 104 and six, basically. That was the conditions I needed. So, not easy. Really not easy. That was a really a tough one. Yeah, I had to listen to the radio the entire time. So it's a lot of transitioning for that one. Not easy. Uh, what was that all about? I don't know. It seemed they were spying. Searching for something. Did you notice? What do you know about these guys? The ones who are after you? The leader has a lot of eyes. Like 10 of them. Seems he had a few extra to spare for the tumbleweed. That's why I, I was asking about the braces earlier. Yeah. I see. What else? Well, I have a, bi a business card. Oh, let's see. We'll show him the uh, business card in the next video. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this one. Keep it easy, boys.